Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square. It's April 19th, Tuesday. Uh, yesterday we covered here, right behind me, the case of Mr. Brian Benjamin, until quite recently, the Lieutenant Governor of the State of New York. He since resigned after he was indicted in a scheme to um, raise money from the state, public taxpayer money, give it to a guy called Migdal, a Harlem developer, uh, who in turn gave it back to him. But he has a defense. He showed up with Kramer Levin yesterday, and his defense is that there was no personal gain. It was entirely, whatever it, what it was, it was about political contributions which are protected under the U.S. Constitution. He cited a case by Sotomayor. It's quite interesting. Also interesting, Migdal has disappeared. Now, we reported last week that he had appeared in the magistrate's court, and we are going to go out on a limb and say that he, this was to plead and cooperate. What we can say is that his case was adjourned Sindai, Sindie, whatever you want to call it. There's no date, and it's been effectively severed. Uh, he should have been there with Brian Benjamin, but he wasn't. What's he doing? We'll find out. We're also covering a trial of a Mr. Booth of Long Island it, uh, for securities fraud. It sounds very mundane, and some think that it's mundane, but in fact it involves stock fraud boiler rooms as far away as Thailand, and yesterday a victim with a very strong Australian accent. Judge Jedis Rakoff uh, joked, uh, what do you mean, uh, New Yorkers have a strong accent? Uh, you have a strong accent. He's back on the stand today at 10 o'clock, and we'll be there. Uh, the United Nations, we won't be there because we're banned by Antonio Guterres. Let me explain. Amid Antonio Guterres' failures on Ukraine, and, and even former UN staff, even people still on the public payroll in their far-flung retirements have written in, they say, an open letter urging him to do more about Ukraine or see the UN dissolve like the League of Nations. Well, the League of Nations never raped children. Sorry to say it, but they didn't have peacekeepers they sent out and do, to do the nasty in the CAR and the DRC in Haiti and then cite immunity and then also ban the press that asks. But we'll be covering them at the Twisted Gun.